Whew. Shoot, boy, it's hot out here. I know, I know. It's been a good little minute, but I needed to take a break. I need to take a break away from social media, YouTube. Give me a little reset time, man, for getting back on this road, in which obviously I'm doing right now. But I had a drop and hook on this trailer. I'm trying to get a truck wash. We will be here. But I need to come put my cargo net back in. Oh, man, it's a big old spider right there. Oh, no, nah, okay. Fuck that noise. <laughs> God, I hate spiders. Oh, gosh. Put my sheet back on. Oh, and line's moving, so I don't have time to secure that. Um, uh, whatever. Got my cargo net back in. Killed the impending threat. That would have killed me. And now, let's try and get this truck washed, but we're going to talk about what I've had to deal with today. But after I get the struggle, I should get parked up where I need to be parked up. And we'll catch you up. Alright, so for those of y'all that watched my live last night, I said I was just going to repeat this vlog, I lied. There's no point, because I published that one so everybody knows the story. But, I got to this customer early, and they were super excited to see me. Because they love when we're early. So, getting on a little of the day early, go ahead and knock out the deadhead miles for this next load that doesn't pick up until tomorrow. I'm trying to make it to the house. I'm be if I can plan this correctly, I'll actually be at home. Like, my next load isn't due until I have an open appointment window from Monday to Wednesday. Oh, this blacker got jacked up. And if I plan this right, man, I could go home for a 34 hour reset, do what I need to do at home, and then hit the road back running on Monday. Like, this is all jacked up. Come on, get out of there. You won't let me be great in front of my friends. So yeah, like that's the plan. I'm gonna have to get that off camera. I ain't got time. So that's the plan and I think I can make it. I'm pretty sure this is jacked up too. Good lord. These pockets are a pain in the butt, man. There we go. Come on, slide out real nice like. Two of four. The other one's on that back door, I think. Um, but yeah. So, if you want a continuation of, you know, the intro to this video, go look at my last live video, and I tell the whole story. And come on, I got it now. See, a little encouragement. That's three or four. And um, yeah, so we're trying to get this next load started like i said if i can make it home for a 34 hour reset i get you know because i've already told my mom even though she watches my channel hey mom i already told my mom i wasn't gonna be able to make it home for her birthday but now i'm able to deliver this 20 22 hours early i can make it to my mom's birthday if i just curious i'm gonna bleep that out i don't think i did So yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna see how that goes, but at least for now, 
I'm glad I was able to get here early. Like, I basically slept in this morning. And, why is my APU not on? That's gonna suck. I basically slept in this morning trying to get here. Um, but by the time I finally got out of bed, let you know I gotta check for spiders now. Every time I get in here. Literally, number one worst fear of driving trucks, having a spider attack you. <laughs> so, again, if you haven't watched that live, just go watch it. It'll it all make sense. But, this next load, you know, obviously pay better than this one. But if I run it right, I can get a 34-hour reset in at home. And in six days, I would have grossed... $8,600 to the truck by Monday morning. Excuse me. By Monday morning. So if I can get that 34, there's not really a reason for me to go back, you know, for me to deliver to Florida, then come back to Atlanta and take some more time off. So if I can... <laughs> so if I can... Uh, if I can get that 34 at home, you know, spend that time with my mom, book it down to Tampa on fresh clock, I could run the rest of the week, you know. So basically, this load, the load I'm about to pick up, will be my, you know, my next payroll load. So like this, this one load is 3,600 for this week because I took f for five days off in Texas. So that's 3,600 for this week for a day's work because I picked this up yesterday morning. So I'll pick up that, I'll pick up this load because my payroll runs from Thursday to Thursday. So my payroll is ending tomorrow. So it's ending tomorrow and starting tomorrow. So I can pick that load up. That's five grand from Thursday to Monday. So at least it gives me a, a little bit over a thousand dollars per day. And uh, uh oh, he's about to fill into the wrong door. I know he's gonna side side it. So a little over a thousand dollars per day to the truck, which is perfect. Um, after that, I hope he sees that wheel truck he's about to destroy after that you know whatever like my fixed costs per day i mean not per day fixed cost per week outside of one week of the month it's like 62 dollars and then my truck payment which i've already paid for this month um that doesn't come out until the first week of next month so basically the rest of this week is about to be pure profit because i've already paid my insurance this month yeah it's going to be pure profit so the key to having a great successful rest of this week is that I get this 34-hour reset in my mind I mean you know if I pick this up tomorrow morning total uh, total distance on that let's see let's see from the 01 01 from the shipper where to saved all safe places let's just map there even though that's not the right address at his last stop. So let's see, total amount of miles to do. Like I'm, I'm about to do 340 miles now. Proceed to highlighted route. To get to my shipper. And don't worry, they're paying me for the deadhead, so uh, I don't need to go, oh, why are you deadheading so far? Because they're paying me for it, that's why. Um, after that, to get home, and this is no longer hazmat routing, change, this material no save back select agree so it might actually be shorter than that because I can actually go through cities now proceed to highlighted route nope still 344 miles to the shipper again that's cool I can get there by 7 p.m. tonight and then when I actually have phone service I can look up whether they have overnight parking because that would be even better but even if not no big deal but let's just hypothetically say that I picked this load up Thursday morning because I think I have an open window from like Thursday morning at 8 to like Friday afternoon at like 3 to pick this load up so if I can drive the empty miles now um, pick this load up get loaded you know with the fresh clock or fresh hours after a 10-hour break if I could just run after that, I mean, Kansas to Atlanta, I, I can't imagine it's more than like, 
you know, 1,200 miles. So if that's the case, I'll be there by like either Friday night or real early Saturday morning to finish up the last couple hundred miles. And if I can sit from Saturday morning, from Saturday morning until Sunday night, that's 34 hours right there. Yeah, 1,400 total miles. So 350, 340 that I'm about to do now, which means I got 1,000 miles left. I should be at home by Friday afternoon. For sure. For sure I should be home by Friday afternoon. So if I can get this 34 hour reset, no problem, and still be early to the delivery in Florida on Monday. I still got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the morning part of Thursday. I still got four days to run. And at my average right now, I'm grossing just about $1,200. Or a thousand to twelve hundred dollars per day, so that's another, you know, five grand I can fit in right there, y'all. If I can grow, well, I'm also leaving out of Florida. I doubt I'm going to be grossing five grand. If I can take a short hop out of there and get to like Savannah or Atlanta or something, and then take up like a heavy hitter, I could I could probably gross ten grand this week. That's going to be the goal. But at least for now, I know this video is getting long. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, like I said, I got... Oh, shoot. I got to call. I got to call Eric. Uh, like, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you need to get in touch with me or have any questions or anything, best way to reach me right now is email. Uh, I was advised on my live yesterday that I, I haven't been responding to emails. And the reason why is because it's flagging people as spam. And I don't know why. But now I know to check that folder best way to reach me by far is email next thing after that is probably snapchat or i'm sorry instagram and then snapchat all that's in my description like i always say y'all i hope y'all are being safe out there and if you're thinking you might as well do it logically i'll catch you guys on the next one peace